Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also use Word to create mail merge envelope addresses. This is very much the same as creating form letters in a normal mail merge. In this case, you've probably got a data source that contains the name and addresses of people to whom you wish to mail. You simply need to create an envelope merge document and place the merge fields into that merge envelope document. You can even add postal barcodes, which allow for computerized sorting by address at the postal office. You need to type the information that you want to keep static, or the same, from envelope to envelope directly into the envelope for mail merging. And the information that changes is the data contained in the actual table or database from which you're drawing the data. You insert merge fields into your envelope where you would normally write your address information. And for every record in your database, a new merged envelope will appear. The only information that changes are the merge fields. For example, say that you're setting up an envelope that you're going to mail to all of your customers in your customer database. You might insert a postal barcode at the top and then press enter on your keyboard to make a second line. And in the second line you would put in the merge fields that contain the customer's name, press enter again to go to the third line, and then insert the merge fields for the street address. And on the fourth line you could put your customer city, state, and zip. But to start a mail merge, select Tools from the menu bar, roll down to Letters and Mailings, and choose Mail Merge. Make sure you have a document active first. That'll launch the Mail Merge wizard in the task pane. And this will appear as six separate, separate steps through which you progress, answering questions posed to you in each pane, and then clicking the Next button at the bottom to go to the next pane and you keep repeating this process till you're finished. So the Mail Merge Wizard will first ask you what type of document are you working on. You'll select the radio button or circle that corresponds to the type of document you're trying to create. Since we're practicing how to create envelopes, choose Envelopes as your choice at the top of this first pane, and when you're done, click Next to continue. The Mail Merge Wizard will then ask you how do you want to set up your envelopes. Select Change Document Layout. If you select this option, you have to simply click the Next button at the top of the task pane to continue on and set up the envelope options. You could also just click the Start from Existing document if you had a envelope template that you wanted to use. So let's choose Change the Existing Document Layout and then click Envelope Options. This dialog box contains an option for printing your envelopes. So first you would set the size of the envelope that you'll be using. And you can change the font for the delivery address by clicking the font button under delivery address. So here it's going to use a 12 point font. Also for the return address you can click the font button there and choose a smaller font usually and you'll see it in the preview down below. On the Printing Options tab, you can choose the Feed method, which you're going to have to feed the envelopes into your printer, and choose Face Up or Face Down. When you're all done setting your options, click OK. And if you haven't gone to the next step in the Mail Merge, click Next to continue. The third panel of the Mail Merge Wizard asks whom do you wish to send the envelopes to. If you already have a list that you wish to use for the envelopes, then select Use an Existing List. Then you would click Browse in the middle of the task pane to launch the Select Data Source dialog box. And this dialog box opens to a folder called My Data Sources. So you may need to use the drop down to navigate away from it if you'd like to pick a data source in a different place. So here, let's say we're going to choose this Excel spreadsheet, the My Customer spreadsheet. So select your data source and click Open. Now once you've selected which data source you'll be using, then you'll see the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box appear. We can use this dialog box to filter and sort the recipient information, but that'll be discussed in a later lesson. For now, just click OK to close this box, and then click the Next button at the bottom of the Mail Merge task pane 
to move to the next step in the merge. So, if you wanted to send information to contacts in your Outlook box, notice that back on the last step, which I'll click Previous here to return to the previous step, Step 3, you also had the option to select your Outlook contacts or create a new list if you wanted to create a new data list on the fly. Now the fourth screen allows you to arrange your envelope. And here you just click and insert any information that you want to remain the same, like the return address information, directly into the body of the envelope. So you can see our insertion points in the upper left corner. This is where we would put in our own return address. And let's zoom in a little bit to see it. All right, so once you've filled in your information, then you just click into the actual area where you would insert the merge fields for the delivery address. So at this point, you have a few different options. You could click Address Block at the right to launch the Insert Address Block dialog box. Here you can select the options you would like as far as showing the recipient's name and address information. You can also choose to include or exclude company names or the postal address. Also down below you can click match fields in the lower left corner of this dialog box to match up fields from your data source to fields used in the address block. So here last name and first name are fine. Courtesy title, we don't have one so it's not matched. Company was named the same. It picked up our address as the address one. City and state, zip, it matched a postal code. So it usually does a very good job of this. Remember this is an Excel data sheet that we're using as our source, not a Word document. And of course, you could always go through and match other particular fields as needed. And then just click OK. This would be the information used for the address block, and you could certainly click OK if you need to. That will insert the address block with all the shown information that we just saw in the last dialog box as our delivery address. Also notice the postal barcode command over in the mail merge task pane. If you click that, that'll bring up the Insert Postal Barcode dialog box, and here there are two drop-down menu choices. In the first one, you have to choose the field that contains your zip code and your data source by using the drop-down arrow. In the next one, you choose which address field has the street address, and then click OK to insert the postal barcode in the appropriate place. Now to preview the merge results, Click Next to go to the Preview Your Envelope screen. Here you'll see the information, and you can use the double right and double left pointing chevrons in the task pane to move through and see how each envelope would look. When you want to print the envelopes, scroll down in the pane, and just click the Print button after clicking Next, or you can click edit individual envelopes to merge it to a new document where you may go through each and every envelope and edit it as needed. Also, if you click the print button, you get the merge to printer option where you can choose which records to print, all, just the currently displayed record, or a range from like record 1 to 5. You would also have the same option if you click edit individual envelopes which merges it to a new document. So whenever you're ready, just click OK. And here we've elected to merge it to a new document. So I could then print one off, making any editing changes as needed. 
And if you merge it to a new document, you do not have to keep the output document that is created. You can simply close that after you're through printing. But you would probably want to save the actual merge document if you intend to send envelopes using the same data source in the future. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.